Welcome to the Clinch River Homestead. I'm Nicole. And I'm John. And today we're going to be finishing up down on the strawberry patch down in the orchard. Woohoo! So come on, follow us down. Okay everyone, so we just got down here to the orchard and um, we got the tractor warming up. So I think I'm gonna be able to get in the spot with the tractor where the mulch is. I initially thought that we may have to uh, just shovel everything in the back of the UTV. I gotta get right to that and I think I'll be able to make it. Now before we can even do any mulching, uh, the one thing we wanna do is spray weed killer down to prevent any weeds from coming up. So I've designed a pretty cool little uh, gizmo to put over the end of your sprayer so that you don't get spray all over everything else. Here, I'll show it to you. All right, so here it is. It just goes right on the end of the sprayer. And all I did, this is a, a planting uh, container, and I just cut a slit right in the top of it here. And just enough so we could slide through the end and then you just kind of set that right over top the plant you want to kill. All right, so the tractor should be warmed up now. And I think Nicole's done doing all the uh, spraying over here with the weeds. So we should be good now to pick up some mulch and bring it over here. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I got the bucket up here close to the top. We're gonna have to pull it out by hand and uh, just do the mulch because we've already kind of got everything here and I don't want to disturb any of the plants. So let's, uh, let's get the mulching. Getting hot out here already, huh? Yeah, but I like it. It's a beautiful day today. Oh yeah, we'll need more mulch. But it's coming, so remember, before you put your mulch down, quick tip, make sure you kill all the weeds and the grass because you don't want it coming up through your mulch. So that little trick I showed you with the uh, bucket on the end of your spray nozzle, that'll keep the spray from going all over all your other plants and keep the overspray down. All right, enough talking, back to work. If you like the content you're viewing today and you'd love to see more, a sub to the channel would be spectacular. We're going for our last and final scoop now. So uh, this should be it. We're gonna need more mulch, but uh, we'll get done as much as we can today. So we just got the last load dumped. I'm gonna spread this out and uh, that'll be it for today. So we may have a part three coming. All right, so it's almost there. So another good reason to use mulch uh, around your plants is to preserve the moisture content of the soil. That is one thing I forgot to mention on our uh, hillside tips and tricks video, which I'll post a link up to right here. Mulch is a, a very good insulator and uh, keeps the moisture from evaporating so you don't have to water them as much. Uh, in turn, it also keeps the weeds down too. So it also composts down into the soil. So uh, for 
plants that like acidic soil, it's great. Okay, everyone. So I think we've used up all the mulch that we've got so far. Nicole's out here finishing up spraying for any of the weeds around the orchard and in the, in the uh, cart path, so to speak. So I think we're gonna wrap up the video today. I wanna thank everybody for watching the Clinch River Homestead. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video today. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Tick that little bell to get notified. And uh, as always, stay awesome.